Hello and welcome. This is a Python tutorial about functions. And what we will be doing in this tutorial is we are going to be creating functions of our own. We are going to be importing large amounts of text into a program and then creating several functions to have a look at searching words and formatting that text. So let's start off by asking what functions are. Well, believe it or not, you have used functions in Python already. Um, if I was to have a string and that string was hello, friend, how are you? Well, when you do something like that, you are using an existing function in Python. The dot upper is a function, um, but it's actually addressed in a slightly different way than we're going to learn today. These brackets are here because they are actually um, usually a place where you put inputs. So these functions can have inputs. Uh, they're also called arguments. Now, let's get straight to it and create one. Let's say you want to repeat a certain word 10 times. Let's create a function that does that. We start by typing in def, which defines an, a, the, a name, essentially, uh, tells Python that we're about to create a function. And then we can name the function, repeat 10. And then we take in an input, just like here, there is no actual input because, um, you know, to make a string upper, it doesn't actually require any extra information. But we're going to repeat a specific word 10 times. So our input, which is the word, is going to go into the bracket here. And now we can just create a loop for i in range 0, 10. print word and that should save it so now when we go repeat 10 and type in anything hello it should repeat 10 times and to make it a bit neater we could add even more functionality with one extra argument or one extra input instead of repeat 10 we could repeat well, we could repeat count times. So this is our second input. And now, instead of limiting by 10, we can limit by count. So now we can repeat, I don't know, 23 times. Repeat 23, comma. This is gonna be cool and it repeats 23 times. As you can see, the best way perhaps to describe a function is it's a shortcut. You use a single line to uh, call onto multiple lines of text. Um, the functions have inputs. They can also have an output. Uh, we could, instead of printing word, we could write in return. And don't worry, we're going to get to that in a minute. So let's have a look at getting a bunch of text into our program. I'm just going to call this stringy equals to, and I'm going to use these triple quotation marks. Now, everything I paste in here um, is simply going to get saved into the stringy. And let's test that out. Print stringy. I need to save this, I need to save this, and save it in as functions. So there you go. Stringy is all of this text, multiple lines. Now let's have a look at some perhaps native functions inside Python. We've already looked into making everything lowercase. Um, let's have a look at word counting. Um, there is such a thing as print str 
stringy.count and pick a word. I don't know. Stuff. Ah, so it prints out the stringy and then it prints out how many times stuff repeats. But you will notice it actually repeats three times. It doesn't count this one because the letters are capital. So what we could do is perhaps lowercase everything and then count however many times a particular word repeats. So let's actually try stringy.count pajamas two and look it actually repeats three times so as you can see there is a native function inside python that we can improve so we can write our own function to count words and we can just call it def dun, 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 dun. and we can call it count word and then we can have word and first things first, we can take, oh, how many times a certain word repeats in a string, isn't it? So we can go word, comma, sd. So it takes in two inputs, a word and a string. And we can take that string and make everything lowercase. And then we can use the good old Python native SD dot count word. Now, what's going to happen here is we could print this count or we could return it. And I'll show you this return. So if I was to um, execute this program and then we go count word and now we can go for what is it word goes first pajamas and comma we have to go for the stringy name three excellent so that repeats three times we have solved that particular problem and you know when it comes to our fancy fancy functions we could have even made it i don't know we could have had something called count equals to sd dot count word and we could have had this return here include some printed materials print so we have a word so we could say Da, 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 word plus repeats plus count plus times and the count needs to be converted to a string and now We could use this inside a user input, like what word do you want to search for? And uh, look, why don't I do that? Print what word do you want And then user word equals the input. And then we can count word user word inside stringy. Okay. What word do you want to search for? Ah, 
Ah, repeats four times. And I think that is correct. So you have now seen what functions are and how they work. Um, you've come to realize that functions repeat quite a lot in, in the stuff we've done already. They're native to Python and that you can create your own. And it's very, very useful to create your own even when they contain other native functions. Now, from this point on in the course, um, I will be looking to use functions as often as possible in a way making our code more modular, more systematic and easier uh, to incorporate into larger programs. Okay, so much for this one. Thanks for listening. All right, you got to the end and you may be wondering where can you get the file or a PDF document of the same tutorial. Don't worry, the link is right under the video, which will take you to this page. The whole Python fundamentals course, it is free. And you enroll, you enter, I don't know, we can, I created a, a Gmail account, aussiejoeblow at gmail.com. Got a password. And agree to the term, sign up. It could be this easy, I think. And there you are. In pick a tutorial. It'll see the same. You'll see the same tutorial as it is on YouTube, and you will have a PDF document that goes with and a downloadable file. So enjoy that, and see you later.